Hello there, my name is Patrick and today I'm going to show you how I make slideshows. I'm going to be using Markdown files with Reveal.js. So I have a few files here that I would like to use to get started. A uh, Markdown file containing some content for my slideshow, a couple images, and a JavaScript file. Uh, so we're going to get to all, each one of these, but let's first discuss uh, Reveal.js a little bit. This is Reveal.js's GitHub repository. I'll be posting a link in the description below. Uh, you're going to need to start by downloading this or cloning it to your uh, local desktop. So I'm going to go ahead. I use a git bash on Windows here, and then that makes it pretty easy to clone a repository to my desktop. This uh, repository comes with a demo, and the demo actually has a, a really good uh, default layout for um, Reveal.js. So we're going to essentially just edit the demo that it provides. So let's go ahead and open up the Reveal.js folder. I'm just going to rename it Slides as well. Inside the Reveal.js folder we have a lot of different files. But the ones that we're interested in are the kind of default templates. There's two, the index.html and the demo.html. You can actually view these in the browser right off the bat. This is what they look like. This is what the the framework kind of looks like. It's, it's, it's quite pretty. It's nice that it runs in the browser. It can run mobile really well and uh, I find it pretty quick to write slideshows in, uh, especially when you're using Markdown. I think in the demo it has a little bit of discussion on the Markdown uh, portion. Um, the demo actually, we'll have a quick look at it. So I'm going to open up this folder in Sublime Text. Okay, so here's our folder. You'll see the demo HTML file here it has a bunch of different stuff here, but this is a good starting point. It has a bunch of slides which are contained in a div in the body. Each section is its own individual slide. What we want is a single section pointing to a markdown file where we can do all of our work. So we're actually going to get rid of the entire content of the slides. So I'll just scroll down here, and while we're scrolling, we'll probably get a glimpse of what the inline markdown looks like. So here's the data section uh, for the markdown. Uh, but this is inline, so it's inside the HTML. And I, uh, it, it's, it works nicely if you're doing an individual slide that you'd like to use markdown for. But um, I prefer to create the entire presentation using markdown. So I'll be using a single file. So we're actually going to get rid of this section as well. We'll delete all these sections. There's quite a few. We'll just have an empty div for our slides. Everything else will remain default. What, what you might want to alter for the demo.html file is the title and the description, because that comes as uh, default. So I might change this tutorial for reveal.js with markdown. And then you can alter the description as well. So my description. Um, author as well. This is some metadata for the slideshow that will be hosted. Very good. Okay, so for the markdown file itself, we're going to need to have our markdown files and the pictures that we're going to be using in the slideshow inside this directory. So let's go to our desktop, we can open up our slides, and I'm going to create two folders. One for images and one for uh, slides. I'll go ahead and put uh, the reveal type md in slides and the images in the image folder. I'll give you a quick glimpse at what the reveal tutorial looks like. Very simple uh, markdown file and I'll explain the spacing in just a moment. So there are one section that we're going to need to add to the um, demo.html is going to be this one here. I just got to do some indentation. There we are. So this includes all possible options for the Markdown file. Um, and this, uh, I'll go over each one. So the data Markdown is uh, going to point to our Markdown file, which is in our slides folder. And it's called reveal.md. 
And then you have a data separator and data separator vertical. The data separator is going to be the separator between uh, horizontal slides and then vertical is for your vertical slides. So in the reveal tut, I have three new lines separating these um, uh, two slides. So that'll be two horizontal slides. Here's a vertical slide example with only two new lines. And then here's an example of an image. And then another, uh, well, two lines here. I'll make that three lines for the last slide. So that's a completely separate slide. Back to the demo. A uh, few more things to wrap up. Uh, we've already changed this. I'm just going to get rid of the char set and the notes because I'm not using either of them and I don't really need to define my own char set for this plain text that I'm using. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and delete the index.html and rename the demo to index.html because that's going to be the default page that opens when I go to my site. So uh, we can actually open this file now and you'll actually get an error. So if I open up index.html, I get a little error saying that it's failed to retrieve the markdown file. That's because we don't have anything serving them. Um, if this was on a web host or a server, normally running like a pod, Apache or something like that, you can get these files to serve. Um, what we're going to do instead is use that JavaScript file, which I had on my desktop somewhere. There it is. And use that to serve the slideshow. Um, it's a really simple JavaScript file. It's just a Node.js server that serves static files. And I'll show you what it looks like. A few lines of code. Uh, first line, we're grabbing the express package, and it's going to allow us to easily serve some files. I'm serving everything from the current directory. Uh, that includes our slides folder and our image folder, most notably, that we're going to be serving. Um, and then I'm just listening on port 3000. Uh, so I can give this a run, but first we're actually going to need Express. So I'll download that really quick. Again, open up my git bash to use npm. If you have Node.js, it also installs npm. So I can have npm install Express that's going to install Express so we can use it and then I can node run our node server now it's listening on port 3000 so if, if I go to localhost on port 3000 we get our slideshow um, you have some controls at the bottom and the, the demo slides go over a lot of the controls as well you can serve images through the markdown file have vertical slides then wrap up. So, um, I think I went over everything here. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. But this is a, a way that I like to uh, do my slideshows. It makes it so that I can store them in plain text, I can version control them, and I can just sub in whatever uh, markdown file I want into the slides folder. And all I have to do is change the name here, and it's going to uh, reflect uh, the new um, the new slideshow. It's a really convenient way to make some slideshows. As long as your slideshows are very simple, I found that this actually forces you to make rather straightforward slideshows um, rather than making a really clunky and over-the-top PowerPoints. Um, this can uh, really help. I, I find it helps me present. And I don't have to worry about bringing around a USB stick or downloading a file. I can just go to my hosted website and it's ready to go and I don't really have to, it's going to work in any browser, I don't have to worry about too much whenever we're giving a presentation. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, any questions in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.